Hi everybody. Happy Thanksgiving coming up uh, next week. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Huh? Let's try it again. Hello everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. There are so many things that I'm thankful for this year, but I'm only going to give you top 10. That's the most thankful thing that happened to me this year. Obviously, number one is about my wife. Something that everybody talks about is called happy wife, happy life. I know you all know about that. So this is what happened this year. My wife became a diehard BTS fan. Uh, when I was watching her becoming a fan, I became a fan too. So we went to their concert in, in LA at the Rose Bowl, which happens to be about literally five minutes away from my house, but I've never been there. So I wanted to go and be in the Rose Bowl actually watching BTS. It was an amazing concert, 90,000 people in there. It was so amazing. But what I really am thankful for is about she and I became even like closer because of BTS. As you well know, in a relationship, one of the most important thing is having a common theme or common goal. So every time she talked about BTS, I got excited. Every time I talked about BTS, she got excited. So we had a lot of things to talk about. And because of that, we became even closer. The second thing that happened was about my son. He's only nine years old. I don't have any other children, so he's the only one. He's always lonely. He wants to play with me all the time. And as you know, I'm very busy, so I get home late. However, lately, he and I have been playing this game called beating your butt. That means is that we wrestle each other and then we get down on the floor and whoever gets on top and we can beat the other person's butt. I usually lose, but he gets so excited about it. He waits for me to play with him. And then next morning when he gets up on the weekend, he wants to play again. So he's very excited. I became even closer. And also uh, I wanted to uh, talk about our Korea trip June, which was amazing. Uh, we went to my friend's yacht club in Han River, which is a main river in Seoul. And we went there literally every day because my son really loved wakeboarding. And he got so excited about wakeboarding. Actually, he got pretty good at it. So we filmed a lot of videos and he got on and he started uh, wakeboarding, you know, uh, with the one hand. And he got very excited uh, ever since we came back from, I took him to Castake Lake which was only about 40 miles from where I live to um, get on a boat and do the same thing and we had a lot of fun doing it so it was a great a time that we had together and we became even closer because of the wakeboarding and surfing and all of those great things that we uh, did on the water. Third one that I'm really thankful for this year is that my father who lives in Guam uh, was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer. It was not a severe one. It didn't really spread anywhere. So we did some radiation and he's doing really well. Obviously he's in his uh, mid eighties. So he's got a lot of dementia and very forgetful, uh, but he's overall in a good health. And after radiation, he did very well. He, he eats well, he walks well, and he does a lot of things great. So I'm very thankful that uh, he did very well with this cancer treatment. And uh, we're, I'm so thankful uh, for that experience. Number four thing that I'm really thankful for this year is about my mom. Because of my dad being sick and he has a lot of dementia, my mom, I'm thankful for her belief in him because without that, it would be very difficult for her to weather through all these treatments and all the things he says, he does, he has to deal with all of that. But she's really good at believing in him to, to really minimize his problem. And I, I truly believe she really believes that he doesn't have a problem. So I'm really thankful that he's not affected by all the things that he's going through. So the fifth thing that I'm really thankful for this year in 2019 is about my father-in-law, who is a retired minister. He's a acupuncturist. He was a very healthy guy all along, but he recently had a lot of stomach pain, went to the doctor and found out that he had a, a stage three stomach cancer. Well, he has some pain, but overall he's a very healthy guy. And he and I had a lot of talk about this whole cancer thing. And, and he and I decided that we're gonna try everything possible all naturally first before we do the surgery or any other treatment so that hopefully it will be able to reduce the size of the cancer in his stomach and be able to uh, overcome this problem. And he and I really have been working hard. I'm giving him all my recipes, all the natural eating, exercising, all the different products. So I'm really testing him to see how he does well uh, with the natural way of uh, healing cancer. So, but I'm very excited. Uh, the fact that he wants to overcome this all naturally, which I what I believe in, so that work together to make this happen. So I'm really thankful for his agreeing to my method of uh, uh, getting the cancer improved. So hopefully we're gonna work out very well. I'm gonna do a follow-up video letting you know how he's doing and how I am helping him to make this happen. And number six uh, thing is about the office. As you well know, in my practice, we have a lot of great staff, especially 
Jackie and Alice both celebrated their Jackie 28 years at uh, Kim Foot Nanko and Alice 30 years at Kim Foot Nanko. It was an amazing milestone for them to be so dedicated and stick around for so long to help me. I can't thank them enough for their endurance, their dedication, their commitment to the practice and all the people and especially me. So I'm really thankful for that. And number seven thing that I'm really thankful for this year is about all my staff, all the people who work so hard, my front office staff, uh, my back office staff, my brand new marketing staff are working so hard and so dedicated and whatever I ask them to do, they do 110%. So we have the best staff in Long Beach, maybe in Los Angeles, maybe in California, maybe in the whole country. We have an amazing people working here. I'm thankful every day that they show up and help me with anything and everything that I ask for. So I'm really thankful for that. Number eight things is all about you. All the patients who are watching this uh, videos, who come to my office and wait around to see me, sometimes quite a long time. They drive and park here and they, they went through all the traffic and get to see me and then wait around to see me and then listen to all my advices. Some good, some may not, may not be as good. So really dedicated patients and really help with all the things that we do, all the shoe drive and toy drive, all the events that we have. And they make really all of these things possible. So I really appreciate all the patients, you, for this, uh, uh, this year, uh, being so thankful uh, this year in 2019. And number nine things that I'm really thankful for this year in 2019, a brand new K Wellness launch. We launched it about six months ago. This has been my dream for 25 years as I started studying and teaching and writing books and doing seminars about all the natural way of healing. Finally, I met a partner who can make this possible. He's been doing this business for a while. We got together with our medical director, Dr. Goodlow. We combine all our efforts together. We open, it's still doing better, but it's not booming yet, but we're, we're setting a foundation. Uh, we're hiring all the people, we're training them, we're creating protocols and systems to really get this whole wellness uh, project off, off the ground. And we're very happy that we have a good team now. We have all the protocols and systems to make this really happen so that we can help a lot of people to prevent their problems rather than waiting for the symptoms to come. We wanna prevent them to not only get them healthier sooner than later, but also save a lot of cost of being sick. So this wellness has launched. I'm very happy that we have all these new people that, and, uh, that came on board all the new doctors and all the uh, uh, other providers and therapists and staff and we we're all working together to make this wellness happen. So I'm very thankful that we have launched and doing very well. And last but not the least, the 10th thing that I'm really thankful for is about this channel. This YouTube channel, we started about five, six months ago, we launched. And then within this short period of time, there almost 15,000 subscribers. Now we're looking forward to getting 20,000 subscribers who are watching me having fun as Dr. Fungi. We wanna have fun with the patients, all the things that we do, all the events that we put out. And we wanna really thank you for subscribing to this channel. I want you to subscribe after you watch this so that I can produce more fun videos for you. So continue to strive to be the best, the funniest, most uh, amazing uh, doctor I could be and all the staff at our Kim Foot and Ankle. So I really appreciate all your help. I wanna thank all of you for watching this. I want uh, to comment below and tell me what your number one thing you're thankful for uh, this year in 2019. So have a great Thanksgiving. We hope to see you soon.